I'm the kind of guy that spent at most 4 hours on Photoshop edit. My longest so far was the PlayStation concept that took me about 6 hours to make. But everything changes today. Because I'm going to create the most insane looking movie poster ever in 24 hours. But there are some rules to make it a little bit more difficult. 1. I can't use anyone in the poster but myself as the character. It must be 27 by 40 inches. I can pick whatever movie genre I want. I have 24 hours to complete it. So yeah, this might actually kill me. I've always been fascinated by Japanese or Chinese movie posters. They literally have so many things going on in them. Like, for example, check this one out. Like, there's so much stuff in it. Like, I don't know how they make this. I feel like they use a lot of 3D assets, but since I can't use that, I have to steal what I can. Since it's a movie poster, we'll need a name. I sent this to a couple of my friends to help me generate a name and also send it to my story to see any other person that can actually help me with a name. The one thing is I can't use anyone in the poster about myself. So I took a couple of photos. I took these three photos in different pos poses to make me look like different characters that I had in mind. The idea was to change myself into three different mythical characters and create the most complicated poster I've ever made. Really hope it goes well. First, I use the pen tool to isolate the image from the background. I kind of like being a cowboy, so I'm going to do that. So I added a cowboy hat to my head and the cowboy get up, which took a little bit more time than I expected to blend it all and make it feel realistic. This one character took about three hours to make, and I really love how it looks, so on to the next one. I use the exact same method to both images and change them into different characters that I know you would like to see. It took more time than I expected, but it feels weird turning myself into these characters. Okay, so I got a couple of messages back from the titles that I begged them to help me generate, and here's that one that they made warriors of destiny um the brothers of odyssey or i odyssey what the hell um the chronicles of three i feel like i like that one and legends of the lost brothers <laughs> okay yeah that that that's so dumb maybe because i gave them a particular kind of script of what okay particular kind of script of what i thought I want the movie to be and this is what it created, but I still prefer the Chronicles of 3. So let's see what we can make with this. I found the font I needed and I typed in Chronicles at first. Then I got the idea to use the first letters of each of the main words to frame the title. I typed the rest and used the exact same font and boldness and reduced the size and put it underneath the Chronicles. I typed 3 the exact same way, but I needed something different for it. So I used T as the main as the main subject and place them in a very unique way that I feel will look appealing. And this is what I came up with. I used this mock-up to create the title and here's the final result. It looks so real and I'm genuinely happy of how it looks. Time to start with the main edit. Since I'm done with each of the characters, I want to start with the cowboy setting the scene on his hat. I picked the images I needed and used the pen tool to isolate them from the background. This took longer than I thought but I got there. After spending so much time using the pen tool, I placed each of the characters that I cut out to recreate the scene on his heart while still trying to form the heart shape. This took more time than I expected and I didn't know how long I would take to get the form right. 
even though it's 24 hours i'm still running out of time because i have two more characters to do the exact same thing too after placing them correctly i use different blending techniques to make sure they fit into each other even though they are all different images After adding so much effects on this, it started to look cool, but I know that it needed shadows and a little bit of dust because they are in the desert. I added the final highlights and shadows and it started looking better than I expected. And I still have some time left, so let's continue with the next one. The next character is a samurai, so I used a couple of snow images and mountains to recreate the particular scene that I saw in the movie on his hat. This took so much time than I expected, and I'm running out of time. I added Japanese or Chinese temple and placed it very correctly that I think it should stay. And blend it all in there to make it feel like this is a scene I was recreating on a hat, which is just weird. I added a couple of clouds to create depth on the mountains and a gradient to actually separate it from the foreground. I added shadows and highlights and also added a snow effect on the temple because it's in a mountain it needs snow it's like just like the last one i added the character that I, that seems like myself which is weird because i'm not a samurai after placing it correctly i added shadows and highlights and also added a snow effect on the character to make sure it fits real well done with the first one and the next one is a sorcerer, so I use a couple of mountain images that have so much grass to blend it to the hoodie just to make sure it fits with the entire team of the rest of the characters. Setting it all, setting it all up took a much more time than I expected, but it started looking better than the rest of them. Since it's a sorcerer, I try adding a couple of things like a temple and a mountain just to fit with the theme of the last one. Also added trees and blending it all in there to make it look much more realistic. Setting this all up took much more time than I expected, but even though I was running out of time, I had to make sure this looks better than all of them. I removed the temple because it looked a little bit too much and I added other things like myself as a sorcerer. I can't keep on explaining how I made all this but just enjoy the spirit and, and tell me how you feel about it. I started freaking out because my time was running and there are a few more things I needed to add. 
added the green glow to fit the theme of the sorcerer and it kind of looked better than I expected so I added the same glue to the eyes I added a few more stones that I lost in footage and here's the final result it looks better than I expected and I really like how it looks and I did a lot more than this I spent so much time on this edit and I felt like it was I was doing it forever I really can't explain how long 24 hours it is on one particular edit Jesus you guys didn't tell me this was hell but it looks better than I expected so I'm so happy with it I didn't really like the background the main background of the entire group together but I felt like this is what will work best I also made a couple of character designs which looks great also but I don't like the samurai one because it just looks so cheesy I don't know. but the rest looks amazing Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a comment down below on what you guys want me to do next in the next video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, let me go to bed. Oh, back.